tutorial on how to use the electrical circuit simulation software. So when you go to the simulation on Canvas, you'll find this document here. When you click that and download it, it will open it up. It will look like it'll look like this. And if you scroll down a little bit down to here, you find this link. Hold down the control key and click on that. And then you get this. You download that. And when you download that, you will I'll just download again. OK. Uh, and then you get this. When you double click on that. It'll look like this when it opens up. You don't want the intro. You want the lab. So click on that till that opens up. OK, I'm going to go through and make a one bulb series, two bulb series, and a parallel. And so you need to have a battery. I'll put it down here. And you need to have a light bulb to start with. And if you follow, if you see it, you'll see these kinds of things here. Um, they actually don't have switches in there. You can put them in your wire. I'll show you how to put one in. And so uh, basically this, the wire, Put it here and you can connect stuff like that and you can click and I can drag and pull it down and I can put another one over here to connect these two line that up I can come over here do another wire over here and I can put a switch here we'll just connect it like that okay so now I can close that. Switch is closed. Switch is open. It even tells you down here. So you can put that in there to keep an eye on it. Now, if you follow the instructions, it asks you to put in, if you look at the instructions, it says to put an ammeter in here to measure the amps. Okay, you've got uh, this one here. Um, because in order to, you click on that to cut it, Put this here, put that there, and here. Okay, straighten that up. So it's showing me a 0 0.9 amps. And uh, so that's how you do that to make a bulb. Now I can change these things. I can, I can click on it once, and I can then change it. So I can make it, you know, down, to, I think they, to make it 5 volts or whatever, you can do it like half at a time, so it makes it easy. Um, and so I get this. This one here is just to switch it around. That would change the positive. Watch if I switch it this way and do it. Um, so I've got the same current here. So that's my uh, ammeter. My voltmeter is kind of like the multimeter we'll be using. So I can put it here. And I can put it here. Nothing's happening because the switch is open when I close it. See, here's my negative 5. This is where if I switched it, see, I get a positive 5. It's just a matter of the orientation of the positive and the negative. Okay, 5 volts. And that's because I have 5 volts down here. And I only have one bulb. Okay, so let me move these out of the way. Open my switch. So you can do that and click that. And that will get rid of it. And... Now I need to bring that over because I need a second light bulb. A, well, we'll go from that one to that one. Doesn't really matter. Okay. And now I got two light bulbs. You'll notice they're not as bright as they were. Uh, and so, and now I have half the current. But, and again, I can take my reading. And now it's two and a half volts at each. And so you go through, and that's what it talks about in the activity here. You measure the current, measure the voltage, result of switching leads. That's talking about positives and negatives. Brings you down to Ohm's law. They tell you to change it and do another calculation. They tell you to put two in a row, like I just showed you. Um, this right here, that that is just the voltmeter I showed you. That thing, because it's got the V on it, is this. This is my voltage. So... Don't try to put something in here. There's nothing there. That's that. Now, you do have to put the ammeter in there to do it. 
Okay, and then they ask you to go through some things to try to figure out how do you find the total resistance in a series circuit. At this point right here, you would paste in your, so you could do this. So um, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Um, I can actually go here and I can, um, well, we just do it the other way. We can do, I just hit my print screen button. So now I could come right here and I can paste it. I got this whole screen. I can then click on it. I can format it, crop it so that I only need to see this part here. And there you go, my two bulb series circuit. All right, and then it has you some other things. Next, we come down to the parallel circuit. So um, in this one, So this one we gotta be able, let's see here. Here's my battery and move these out of the way. And so I'm going to, I'm actually gonna rotate this. And rotate this. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Oops, whoa. Okay, so I'm gonna bring a wire from here to here, and I'm gonna bring another wire up here, here to here, here. Actually, I think they have you put the switch right here and then a wire from here to here and a wire here to here. Oh, that lug comes on. Yeah, this is what they actually have you build. And then it's like, so now when I do this, that would be this circuit right here. You've got your switch going out there. These are ammeters, okay? So what that means is you then have to put an ammeter right here. You can actually bring that over and connect straight to it. Okay, zero, because my switch is closed. There you go. Um, and so you, so wherever you see, if you see the A, that's an ammeter. If you see the V, that's just using that voltmeter with the leads. So you put an ammeter here, here, and here, and they ask you to write those things down. And then you find the voltage using the voltmeter. And so then they ask you to try to solve some things here. Okay. Um, uh, I, I may be changing some of this document by the time you see it. And then right here is where you uh, paste in your, this one. Okay. Um, the other way I can do it is I can insert a screen clipping and just do that and that'll put that in there well that actually i can do it from word document too insert screenshot screen clipping whoops all right well and that puts it there and then they have you do a combination circuit with uh two bulbs in series and then another parallel one here and go through and and then just write a little summary on what goes on here and then you paste your combination circuit here. So that's working through that. So in the end, you will have a Word document that has all of numbers in all of these places where there's blanks and you can just type stuff in here. If it's five volts, you can just type five. Um, and across the bulb, you know, whatever, if that's three, whatever that is, the result of switching leads, type your little answer here. And uh, then you save this and you upload this to Canvas. Everybody has to do their own paper. Everybody has to do their own circuits. All right, and there you go.